Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another edition of Ask a Paradox. I'm here in uh, Hiroshima in the One Self studio getting ready to answer your questions. But first of all, I want to apologize for not posting on planned times. I'm trying to keep a schedule when to post my videos, but with all the travels that I do, it's really difficult to have the dance videos, the Ask a Paradox videos, and my travels and manage it all at the same time. However, I'm trying my best to get into the right schedule and I'll keep doing that until the schedule is right. So I hope you guys stick with me and I'll keep working hard to answer all your questions. It's three o'clock right now, I'm tired as hell. At seven o'clock I have a flight to Russia, but I still wanna do this for you guys, so I'm sitting here giving up my night to answer your questions, so let's go. Question number one is from Brian. He asked, hello Kevin, um, I'm writing you because I love your dance and you're a great advisor and a big inspiration for me. Here's my problem. I love to dance since I'm a kid, but I was not implicated to what I was doing, so I was very bad. So last year, I've decided to really dedicate my time to dance and progress, so I've started to dance in a hip hop course. I know that I don't have to be impatient about progress, but since two months, I'm feeling like my dance moves are always the same, and I'm not feeling good when I dance. Even my mom said that my moves always are the same, and she uh, rarely sees me dance. I feel very bad at the moment at dancing, and I'm starting to feel ashamed to dance in front of my mate because my dance is always the same. So I would like to know if you can help me uh, to renew my dance, to renew myself. Maybe you can't or you are too busy. Uh, there's no problem. You are the best. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Okay. Yo, Brian, what's up? So I can really feel and understand your problem because I had it myself a few times and I have a few friends who have the same feeling also. The ashamedness, the not getting better, the doing the same move over and over and over again. But I found some uh, solution, so I hope what I'm gonna tell you is gonna help you. First things first, the reason why you keep doing the same thing is because you don't have enough vocabulary. Because you have a lack of words, you use the same words over and over again in the different sentence which for you doesn't make sense because you want to create more sentences and you want to have a good conversation with your dance. So what you need is more letters, more basic words to create new phrases. When I started dancing myself, I did a lot of different styles. I did crump, uh, popping, I did the sea walk, um, b-boy, hip-hop, and because I did so many different things, I had a lot of information and a lot of different words. And with this, I could combine the words together and create new words every time. So my first advice to you is try to learn as many techniques as you can from different styles. That way you become more open and your dance re uh, renews. Also something very important which will help you a lot is to name everything in your dance. If you have movement, moves, whatever, give it a name. If it doesn't have a name already from the basics that were created. Give it a name yourself so that you know what you're doing. If you know what you're doing, it's easier to uh, to put it into shelves and with that it's easier to take it out of your shelves and create different things with it. If you don't know what you're doing, if you can't name it, it's really difficult to always create new stuff because you cannot add it to each other. It's all one. In the end, dance is all one, but if you're able to separate it, this has a different feeling than this has then it's easier to create more and new things. So the second thing is name your own movement. If you name your own movement, you get to know your own body and your own dance better. And it's a lot more fun to do. The third thing is learn to practice slowly. You don't always have to go all out when you practice. Whenever we talk and we want to uh, say something that makes sense, we think before we speak. If I would just try to say words just because I want to talk, la 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 la, that would not, it would not make any sense. So learning to step back and first think about what you want to say, think about the words that you say and then speak them with ease will help you a lot to dance better. I'm referring the words to the dance, of course. So what I'm saying is when you dance, try to dance at ease, dance slowly, think before you dance, think before you move, feel before you move. Don't move just because you have to and because the music says so. It's like this, we don't always have to talk loud. We don't always have to speak loud to someone. So we don't always have to dance loud. Sometimes it's okay for us to whisper, to sound, to talk softly. The same with our body. We don't always have to uh, shout with our body. We can also whisper with our body. And when we whisper, it's way 
easier to choose the right words and to use the right moves. So the next thing is this, um, the problem with using the same moves over and over again. I had the same problem myself and I created a few solutions for it. The solution that I want to talk about right now is making your weaknesses your strength. How do I do that? It works like this. If I have a move that I do over and over and over again, it's a weakness. It's a word that I keep saying over and over and over and over and over again. And it sucks because my sentence in my dance is always the same. It doesn't feel good, right? But because I do the same the whole time, it can also be a trigger. It can trigger my mind to wake up. You know, like Inception where they throw you in the water when you fall back. If you don't know Inception, go watch that movie, great movie. Um, you fall back into the water and you wake up. That's the trigger that makes you remember where you are. This can, uh, this can be the same way with your dance. When you do that move, maybe this is the thing you keep doing over and over again. If you do this, this can be the trigger to remember whatever else you have. So what you can practice is this. If you create five variations to the same move that you do, if this is your repeat, we call it a loop. You're in a loop, this, that's, the, that's what we call it. Um, if this is your loop, I just create five variations and five different ways after this loop so that I have new things to do. So for instance, boom, boom, boom. One, uh, boom, boom, two, three, et cetera, et cetera. Because of this, whenever I go to this, my mind uh, is being triggered and awakened. Oh yeah, I have information inside of this. Boom, 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 boom. And I can show new information. It's actually a weakness becoming a strength because you can do new stuff every time with this. The last thing about making your weakness your strength is try to use the same thing that you do, but try to variate with it in levels, energies, angles, etc. etc. Try to uh, exploit it. Make it a dance style instead of one move. If you make it a dance style, which means you have to variate it on the music, you have to variate it on the floor, the ground, ceiling, blah, 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 you can do a lot with it. If you do this, um, it will not become your weakness, but your strength, because you now can go really deep into your information and you just have a lot of more things to do with it and it becomes your own style. Make your weakness your strength. So, I hope that answered your question. Um, I hope this helps. Uh, please keep practicing. I know for now it feels really bad, but uh, remember why you dance because you enjoyed to dance when you was a kid. Try to remember that, okay? Try to remember that, yeah? Um, please keep going. There is a, a, a point in your life, a time where dance will just feel really bad for a long time because you want to grow and this is something you have to go through. Um, this is what uh, uh, separates the winners from the losers. There's no losers in dance, but let's say it in a different way. This separates the dancers from the people who stop dancing. That's what separates it. Yeah, so just keep going and believe me, there's a light after the tunnel. At a certain point, your body takes over and it will carry you. Yes, keep going. Okay, the next question is from Jazzy or Jazzy. I started dance two years ago and the Bordeaux dancers uh, told me that I grew up really fast. But the thing is that I think I can't do better in this time. I tried to work the basic steps, but nothing permits me to grow. What can I do? Okay, Jazz, thank you for the message. So, what is happening to you is that you're probably in the dancer's dip. This is what we call it, a dip. A dip where your dance just boom, takes a fall, you know, and it just feels really bad and it feels like you can't do anything, can't grow, maybe you even can't dance. I used to have this a lot and I used to say, I lost my dance, what should I do? I was always scared, but my mom and dad always told me, it's okay, it will come back. It's normal, this happens a lot of times. And actually it does happen a lot of times. Every once in a while, you will boom, fall back and feel like you're not growing, your dance is the same the whole time and you don't feel good about it. Yeah, you're just being stuck for a moment and that's okay, that happens. You have to go past that, it's like life, you have to move through certain phases. It's like winter and summer. In the summer we feel really good, but at a certain point, bah, the cold kicks in, right? And it becomes really cold, then we feel uncomfortable and it takes a long time to get back to the summer. Same works with dance, but if you uh, know this, if you understand that you have a dip, that it will come, you can prepare. You prepare in the summer for the winter, and you prepare in the winter 
to go back to the summer. So the reason you are in this dip right now is probably because your body uh, is used to the information that you give it. It is used to the training that you have been doing. It is used to the techniques that you have been using. And because it's used to it, um, it goes on autopilot. When it goes on autopilot, for you it feels like you're not doing anything new and it feels like you cannot create new things. To get over this dip, there is a few things that you can do. First of all, um, taking breaks from dance helps a lot. Me, myself, at first I did not believe in the break. I was like, nah man, I mean, that's only for people who, who just don't love dance as much. Not true. If you really love dance, it doesn't matter if you don't dance or if you do dance, you will still love it, okay? So a break can help your body to uh, renew, to calm down, to be at ease, to understand the information that you have and to stack it somewhere, to stash it here so that you can create new information. Another thing that will help is to change the method of your practice. If you keep practicing in the same way, at a certain point, your body's gonna get used to it. Because it gets used to it, you don't grow. Going back to the basics is always important, but it's also very important to give yourself and give your dance some new experiences, to try something really strange and something really different so that your body has to uh, adapt to a new way of moving. It has to try to move in this way and try to find a new way of, 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 uh, of using your dance. The next thing is to not be afraid to let go of what you know. What I mean by this is the stuff that your body has been doing for a long time, you already know. You don't have to go over it and you don't have to try to keep this. You don't have to try to keep a certain style because you work for this for a certain time. It's really scary, but sometimes it's better to let go. Your body is over it, your mind is over it, you have to have get a new feeling with dance. So you have to let go. Like they say in the Kung Fu movies, when you have a full cup, I cannot fill a full cup with new water. Yeah, you have to empty, empty your cup. Only an empty cup can be filled with new information. If your mind is full with the stuff that you have been doing the whole time, if you try to keep this and then grow, you're trying to keep a full cup and trying to add more to the cup. It will only overflow and it will not help, it will spill. You just spill your information, spill your water, it doesn't work. So it's okay to sometimes let go of what you have and work on something new. I used to do this all the time. When I started dancing, I started dancing from a concept, from techniques like this, you know? Today, waving, blah, blah, etc. I started working from this. I was really good at it, but my groove and my flow were really bad. So at a certain point, I decided to let go of concept. I decided to just throw it away, throw it out the door. My body will probably remember it anyway and I want to learn new things because I want to become better. I do this every time. So sometimes people will look at me and say, hmm, Kevin's dance has changed a lot. I like the way he danced before better. It's true because the way I danced before is something I worked on for a long time. I throw it away and start something new so that my body gains new information and I get new experiences with dance. You can get it back. So you worked on this for a long time, but this stays low. If you throw it away, maybe it will go down, but this one will go up. This information will go up. You will become less good in concept and better in groove. Da, 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 da. When you get here, then bring them together and rise together. That way, um, for you, your dance will probably feel more better and you have more fun in dance because you see that you can do a lot more. And last but not least, try to practice as many styles as you can. Try to get different angles of body movement. Try to see this, that, 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 that from this angle, from that angle, from above, from below. Try to understand the dance in different ways. That way, this um, idea can maybe spark your own dance to become different. Or even better yet, try to use different body movements, uh, martial arts, sports, whatever you can think of, and try to put that into your dance. They will teach you different ways of moving other than the normal dance way and that way you will create something completely new which is a lot of fun too. So take a break when it's needed, try new practice methods, search for new ways to practice, do not be afraid to let go of what you know, empty your cup and try to use different styles. I hope this helps you and uh, please keep on going. Thank you very much for the message. So the next question is from Street Beat. How often should I practice? Is it okay to do it every day, uh, full out in front of the mirror? And is it okay to not push myself to practice when I'm not feeling like it? Okay, Street Beat, thank you so much for the message. Um, first of all, let's start by saying this. There is no magical rule 
to how many times you should practice. No magical number. It is not about how much you practice, but about how you practice. Let's say I'm gonna lift weights, right? My goal is to do 100 lifts. As I do the lifts, after every two lifts, I take two minute break. Doesn't matter how much I practice, how many lifts I do with a two minute break every time, I will not optimize my training like this. The same works with dance. It doesn't matter uh, how much you practice because if you only practice freestyle, for instance, without really knowing what you do, without having a goal or a direction you're focused at, your practice is only gonna get so far. Practicing every day is really good if you enjoy it. Sometimes pushing yourself to practice can be a little bit too much. Why? Your body needs rest to remember whatever you did, to absorb the information that you gave it. If you don't give it time to absorb, it will burn out and you will not learn anything from your practice anymore. Besides that, yes, practicing a lot helps a lot. Why? Because your muscles need to remember what you do. And in order to remember it, you have to do it over and over and over and over again. You have to let your muscles know, this is something that I need in my everyday life and keep doing it so that your muscles uh, form to the way you want to move them. They take on the form of your regular movement. And for that, yes, sometimes you have to force yourself. Drilling, drilling is not always fun. Drilling is doing something over and over again. It's not always fun, why? Because it's not creative and it's not enjoyable. You want to dance to the music and not doing the same thing over and over again. But this can be really important for your muscles to remember. And later on, this will help you to enjoy your dance more because you can do a lot more than you could before. Me, myself, I do practice when I don't feel like practicing because I know that the result that I get from it, I'm gonna enjoy a lot and I only have so much time. I only have so many years and inside of these years, I only have so much time to practice. So I wanna take every time I have, every moment I have to use it wisely. Practicing every day can be okay, sometimes not. Everyone has his own rhythm, everybody has his own way of moving and his own rhythm to how much it can take and how much it cannot take. Find your own rhythm. It's not bad to go overboard once, it's good to know your limit and then you can uh, pace yourself and find a way to do it the right way. But there's one thing that I don't want you to push yourself in and that is creativity. Don't push yourself to be creative because creativity it has nothing to do with the muscle memory, but it has to do with the personality and the feeling, the enjoyment of dance and the uh, understanding of connection between movement. Don't force this understanding. It's like trying to force knowledge, trying to force being smart. It doesn't work like this. So that's my answer. I really hope it helps you. And uh, thank you so much for the message. Peace. Okay, let's get into the last question. This question is from uh, Thomas from Brazil. Hello, Kevin. Hi. Um, first, I want to say that I really enjoy these videos that you made. Um, let's go to the question. Thank you. 30 minutes ago, I was in my room and uh, dancing a lot of music and I really enjoy it in my freestyle. So I thought, let's record it. So I change my clothes, I get my camera, I press play and I start dancing. But in front of the camera, I didn't feel the same thing. Before the camera was on, I felt like a 9.5. After that, I felt like a 4.3. I feel so bad about that. How can I keep my freestyle always fresh? Thank you, guy, Thomas Silva from MBA, MAB Crew, uh, Brazil. Thank you very much for the message, man. First things first, don't try to be fresh when you dance. What I mean by that is this. If I try to be good, if I push and try to be good, I will only block my own creativity, I will only block myself because I uh, create a measure, I want to be that good and then I can't dance normally because all of a sudden I have to force myself to something. If I take away that barrier, it doesn't matter where I go, I can go up, I can go down, I can do my best or I can do a little bit okay, but I will always get the best out of myself because I feel okay with what I do. Trying to always dance fresh is like trying to be beautiful. Being beautiful is not something that you try to do but it's something you become or be something you are from yourself by just being yourself so just be yourself when you dance and don't try to be better than yourself you cannot force yourself to become better you can only be yourself and you yourself will grow in time now in the situation that you're talking about there are three things that really influence your dance and we're going to talk about all three number one clothing so when i dance i have certain clothes that i wear that make me feel good that make me feel different if i change my clothes however my dance also changes why because they feel different and they have a different feel around my body so when you felt good when you were dancing in that moment you felt good in that moment with those clothes by changing those clothes 
you change the feeling around your body and because of that you will dance a little bit different me myself for every style that I do for every uh, sub style let's say character that I have I have different clothes that help me get into a certain feeling if I want to dance raw hip-hop my feeling will be, uh, my clothes will be a little bit uh, wider and bigger if I want to dance to a, a, a uh, a new school swaggy song whatever my clothes will be a little bit more tighter I cannot dance to a swag song with big clothes I cannot dance to an old school hip-hop song with very tight clothes for instance well I can but it will make me feel different and that's what happened with you the second thing is the camera now when you dance in front of the camera it's like dancing in front of people when you dance in front of people you feel different you don't feel completely comfortable it's like the camera is the people the same way uh, the eyes look at you the same way the camera lens looks at you what I suggest you to do is to keep filming yourself over and over again and try not to perform in front of the camera to be able to look back at something good but actually try to experiment a lot in front of the camera try new stuff try to dance small try to just see what you can do practice small don't practice and try to wow, perform for yourself try to just do whatever yeah try to make mistakes in front of the camera try new stuff try to get comfortable with actually practicing in front of the camera instead of showing your instead of showing your movement and showing what you can do in front of the camera. This will help you get used to uh, practicing in front, will help you get used to searching for movement in front of the camera, and that way it's easier to uh, maintain certain new feelings, certain good feelings that you have because you're able to actually not perform and just keep the feeling on its own. The third thing is that you was in the moment and what you did was you let the moment go. Uh, movement and feeling in dance is like uh, time. It comes movement, and it goes. And you cannot grab a hold of the time. time. It will always keep going. It doesn't matter how much we try to keep a hold of the time that we have. It will always pass. The same is with our movement. Our movement and our feeling that we have is in that moment because that's what we feel right then. After, if we walk away and we try to hold, it will not happen. We will not have the same time. We will not have the same feeling. It will pass. So that special feeling that you have, you cannot hold it and try to take it through time into another time to do it again. As time passes, your feeling has its duration too. It's like a movie. When I watch a movie for the first time, I get a certain feeling from it, a certain enjoyment, right? But after I watch it for the first time and I go for a second time, I really try to get that feeling back, but I can't. I cannot feel the same way for the movie as I did the first time because I already know what's gonna happen. The same thing works with our dance, the same thing works with that feeling. You cannot try to go to the same feeling for a second time because it will never have the same special uh, feeling inside. It will feel different. So my suggestion is this. When you feel it, stick with it. Stay there. Do not leave the moment. Do not let the moment pass. Grasp it in the moment and keep dancing keep feeling the feeling that you have keep feeling the good feeling that you have in your body don't catch the camera don't do this don't do that don't try to change your clothing try to get it something comfortable if you have a good feeling now keep it and use it as much as you can exploit it okay what can i do with this how do i feel your body is going to remember it if you keep doing it. instead of trying to capture let your body remember and let your mind and your soul remember the feeling then when you dance again later this feeling is somewhere on the shelf of special feelings that you have. I once had this feeling, once had this, once had this. And then when the music comes back and you hear a song that gets you to the feeling, boom, your, move, uh, your body remembers what kind of movement it used when you had this feeling and you can get back into that actual feeling that you had then. You can regain that same motion inside of your body. You will not have the complete same feeling, but you can regain a certain motion, a certain feeling that you had before. And this is because your body absorbed uh, from you moving inside that moment, inside that moment that you had when you had your different clothes on. Your uh, body absorbs this and because it absorbs it and your mind absorbs it, um, it will now remember. So this was the last question that I will answer and I hope it helped you guys. Um, thank you so much for the good reaction every time. Thank you so much for looking at my videos, for sharing my videos, for liking my videos, for commenting on my videos and for subscribing. Please keep subscribing if you didn't subscribe yet guys. Um, I got so many videos coming and I really don't want you to miss the next one. And I see you in the next Ask of Paradox and I hope to answer your question next. Thank you.
本当にありがとうございます。